Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Y'all know I had to start with my Haitian music. I am going in with my Anastasia brow gel. Y'all, this brow gel is the truth. You need this in your life. I was using the NYX faithfully. But then when I tried this Anastasia brow gel, y'all, changed my life. That thing is the truth. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. I'm going to rub it and pat it into the skin. Um, and then you're going to let it kind of dry down a little bit so that it can be sticky and tacky. Oh, don't forget to go in with your moisturizer, y'all. I like using Nivea. Um, now I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa. Um, Dark Cocoa is looking lighter and lighter to me nowadays, y'all. But I'm going to put that in all my highlighted areas. And y'all know this is old reliable, old faithful. I love this thing. Then I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Concealer, y'all. I can never remember the color, so I'm going to put it in the description box for you guys. Now I'm going in with my more uh setting spray and i like to spray it and let it dry a little y'all saw me dancing y'all like i was really in my mood i love listening to music while i do my makeup now i'm going in with my morph brush in order to blend 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 um i love to just let people know when it comes to your makeup the number one key is to really go in and blend y'all and even though i'm blending my life away now i'm still gonna keep blending throughout the entire process make sure you never stop blending all the harsh lines blend okay now i'm gonna go in with another brush to blend my contour out this is the perfect chocolate color for my contour i love it so so much um and Juvia Place does a really good job at just having all shades of concealers and products. I love it. Um, now, you're just going to go in and blend that seamlessly. Um, you might see some harsh lines, but that's okay. I'm going in with a smaller brush to go in and snatch the nose up. I love doing a contour nose. A nice, you know. Yeah, it's giving y'all already. Now, I'm going to go in with my... Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer, my favorite concealer for full coverage. And I'm just going to go in and blend again my life away. I put a little bit because a little goes a long way. This concealer is extremely bright and covering. Um, Y'all don't mind my background. Somebody wanted to me in my video so bad. So just ignore that. Y'all see what I meant when I said a little bit goes a long way. Like you can really see that coverage and how much that really just transform the look right so we're gonna go in and blend 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 i love this morph brush i think it's like a buffer brush if i find a name i'll put it for you guys in the description box going in with a smaller brush to snatch the nose then i'm gonna keep going in with my real techniques brush to snatch the face and I, i'm blending in my highlight into my contour make sure you do that y'all now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Loose Powder in the color Kunafa. And y'all, ooh, I love me a bright under eye. Like I've realized that I'm a bright under eye girly sometimes. So, um, And I like to snatch the bottom of my face just like this, y'all. This is my little tip. But I don't want a bright face all the time. Let's say I'm going to church. I don't want to go to church with a bright under eye. I'm going to do more of a natural look to go to church. So it depends where I'm going. This night I was going out to date night. So I wanted a nice bright under eye. Now I'm going in with my NYX eyebrow pencil in the color dark cocoa. Oh, not dark cocoa. Sorry, y'all. Dark black brown. Y'all, this is my favorite favorite pencil it's so creamy and it just it just glides on the skin perfectly on the brows perfectly and then i realized less is more with the brows yeah i feel like i don't do too much with my brows anymore i just kind of draw them in fill them in a little bit and then i go in and clean it with my dark cocoa as well i just spray a little bit i mean sorry 
I just push a little bit out of the bottle and I use my brush to pick up just a little bit of product at a time. And I go in and I clean the brow. I take my time as my face is setting. I'm cleaning up the brows, y'all. Y'all, I just love when the brow just like completes the look. I love me a nice brow. Then I take the rest of my remaining product and I just clean the front of my brows a little bit. Now we're going to repeat the same steps on the other eyebrow. Remember, it's okay if your brows don't come out the exact same. Your brows are sisters, not twins, okay? My morph brush, um, rounded brush to go in and clean those brows up. And y'all, the look is just coming together so, so nicely. I like to really just take my time with the brows too, because again, really the brows make or break your makeup look. So make sure your brows are on point. So I'm gonna take my bl um, blending uh, brush from Huda, um, sorry, not Huda Beauty, Morph brush as well. And I'm just cleaning up that concealer that we just applied. Then I'm gonna going with some nyx brow gel i just like a lot of brow gel to really complete that eyebrow look you i was gonna do the anastasia one but i just was like you know let me try mixing them together and it came out really really nice y'all now i'm gonna go in with my real techniques brush and i'm putting a little bit of sephora's um i think it's a finishing powder i forgot what it's called i'm gonna put it in the description but I really love this powder, it, micro smooth powder. That's what it is, y'all. That powder right there is the truth. That's in the color 75. And I'm using that powder to brush off all the loose powder off of my face. And y'all, the look is coming together. Do y'all see that? I'm using NYX. I forgot what color this is. I'll put it in the description box. I got it from my drugstore. Um, to go ahead and set my contour areas and really just blend everything seamlessly together. And then I'm also using a smaller brush to kind of snatch the nose the same exact way. Um, and yeah, y'all, that's the look. The one thing I forgot to do on camera is blush, but I definitely applied blush, okay? And I definitely set my face with the one size setting spray. Now I'm going in with the same um, pencil that I use for my brows and white black brown to go ahead and line my lips. I love to overline my lips. Y'all, I don't know what color this is. I got this from a black owned beauty um, cosmetic store online, but I, I don't think she's still around anymore selling these. So I'm so, so sorry, but I did go on top of it with the NYX fortune cookie. And that is the final look y'all like oh my god it's so cute oh last but not least ruby kiss on top a ruby kiss clear gloss that's one of my favorite lip gloss because it smells so good and yeah y'all that's the final look i hope you guys enjoy please like comment and subscribe see you guys next time bye i